everyone and welcome again to another series. This one is going to be mainly focused on domain controllers and how you can actually try to secure your environment of Windows domain controllers. So first of all let's actually start with security baseline which is the basic thing that you should know about and you should also consider having uh, configured on your um, PC in your environment. So, if you don't know the security baseline, you can always read on the Microsoft's um, website about it. Basically, it's a um, pre done set of rules of GPOs that are uh, actually ready to be imported into your domain controller. And after those baselines mm, are imported, you can actually uh, patch quite a lot of different holes in your domain controller or maybe mm, vu vulnerabilities that somebody can exploit quite easily. So in order to actually mm, take care of those baselines mm, and even see wh what's in them, you need to find the Microsoft Security Compliance Toolkit. You need to download, go to the downloads, which is of course here, and you need to choose um, baseline that is uh, optional for you. So of course I'm going to be using Windows Server Security Baseline because this is a um, Windows Server 2022 video with domain controllers so this is the one that we are actually interested in but if you are interested in different other baselines that are uh, mm, created by Microsoft you can always check 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 them out it's like Windows 10 11 uh, Microsoft 365 even for Edge so quite a lot of different stuff around of course you have baselines for uh, Windows Server 2016 as well as Windows Server 2019. Okay, so I have already downloaded the zip file, so I should have it. I should have it here. So basically, this is it Windows Server 2022 security baselines. And if we go inside the folder, we get different kinds of stuff. So we get the documentation. That you can actually open if you have uh, mm, Word and Excel. So you, if you get Microsoft Office, uh, you get here quite a lot of handy things uh, that are shown in a, a big table that you can read uh, about uh, what kind of things need to be actually mm, enabled on your domain controller uh, in order to be safer. So, uh, all of the options here in this um, Excel, file, Excel file are pretty well written and there is quite a lot of different descriptions saying what you can actually do and what the, what the um, option does. So if you don't know what the option does, you can always read about it here. So this is quite a nice pack. But if you are interested in what you are going to be putting in the baseline to your domain controller, because there is quite a lot of different things actually, so you can check up one of those things that we got here. So this is just a HTM file, so you can basically open it with your browser. So we are interested in domain controllers, that's why we're going to open this file. And it's basically a report one that one that you can actually generate from your domain controller if you want to see what kind of GPOs you are uh, you have linked and if we expand all of those things security settings here we have all the things that are going to be applied to your domain controller So you just you just need to go through them because it's really quite a lot of different options here that are going to be either enabled or are going to be changed. 
So before you actually consider applying the Microsoft uh, required baselines, you should read about it and you should check out the options because um, bear in mind that some of those options might actually block some uh, things in your environment, in your production environment, because you have also some changes. As you can see, firewall state is on, inbound connections are blocked, outbound connections allowed. So not many changes here to the firewall. Uh, there is like a different GPO and a different baseline for the firewall that can be applied. But uh, yeah, it's better to read through all of this and check what kind of things are going to be changed. and if it's going to be impactful for your production environment. Okay, going back to the baseline, so you have downloaded the, um, the zip file, you have checked it out, you know that it's going to be fine, most of the options are compelling to you, so that's fine. Okay, we can go back, so here are the GPOs that are going to be applied. So basically those are the GPOs that uh, are going to be applied, and uh, most of those GPOs are corresponding to the ones that are here. So basically, uh, you get here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we go to the GPOs, we got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as well. So basically, each of those GPOs, because it's like a pack of different GPOs here. So this is one pack, another pack, another pack. Each pack corresponds to uh, one of those reports here, right? So the main controllers. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it should be the fifth GPO. One, two, three, four, five. So it should be this one, probably. Probably this would be the the one that it's gonna be actually. that it's going to be actually imported. Uh, specify uh, um, turn on the in the security. Well, it's going to be uh, it's going to be easier when we are going to import everything through the group policies. So for now we're just going to leave this. Of course you get scripts here if you want to use them, you get baseline scripts. If you're interested how they are actually composed. This is just like a basic baseline script here. That they actually uh, included some tools that you can actually read about as well, config files. And we got templates, so basically this is what we are going to be using here, the templates. Okay, so mm, we're going to use all of those files. So we're going to use uh, ADMX files and we're going to use the ADML files. So we're going to be using all of those. But first, uh, we need to actually have a specific folder created to um, copy those files into. So we need to go to our C drive, Windows. Here we need to actually find Sysvol fo folder, System Volume folder, again. And then we need to find our domain controller folder. So our domain folder and here we need to go to policies. So as you can see, I am missing here one very important folder uh, that is actually, um, with, without it we cannot do anything here. And we need to create this folder. Okay, let let me just check. So basically, this is the folder that we're going to be creating. 
we are going to be creating so policy definitions you need to create this folder if you have it already there's not going to be any problem because the script that I'm going to show you is going to be just overriding everything in your policy definitions so if you have something already there it's going to be just updated with the script so don't don't sweat it uh, you can just run the script it's not going to destroy anything it's going to just update it if you have it already done and if you don't have the folder it's going to create the folder and then it's going to copy all the uh, requested files inside the folder okay so basically um, you need to create uh, so to take uh, to take advantage of the benefits of a admx file you must create a central store in the sysvol folder on windows domain controller so this is what we need to do we need to create a central store a store uh, folder which corresponds to policy definitions basically to create central store for admx and admin files create a new folder named policy definitions in the following location so basically this is the location they are showing so uh, this is your domain so mine is just ddr local sysvol again name uh, name of the domain policies and policy definitions okay so in order to create uh, here as you can see we are in the requested path so we are in the c and windows sysvol uh, ddr local policies right and we are going to be creating here this folder i got a script that it's going to create it for me i'm going to link the script uh, under the video so you can just copy it and use it if you're going to need it for like mm, many domain controllers if you have like a bulk script for 10, 10 domain controllers or something you can always redo it and it's going to automatically create everything for you and copy everything okay so basically mm, I got the script here so this is my script it's just called central so I'm gonna run the script from PowerShell so basically as you can see uh, created central store to this location so policy definitions have been actually created copied at the admx files to central store central store store setup completed so we can check we can go to windows right now mm. again sysvol sysvol ddr local policies of course and we got policy definitions with all the admx files copied here okay so since we have the folder now we can go uh, can go to our baseline folder here we can go to templates we need to ba basically copy all of this stuff because this is requested for us again as well folders the main folder policies policy definitions and just pasting all of the stuff okay that's fine okay so let's go to the uh, fun part because this was like the boring part with all the scripts and stuff so let's go to group policies right so i'm gonna open group policy management I'm gonna go to group policy objects in your domain and of course we are gonna create a new group policy so I'm just gonna call the baseline 2022 DC right so we got the new baseline here and now we just need to go here we need to import the settings because we are gonna be importing things from the baseline folder that we downloaded in the zip file so it already has uh, it already has the path here to the folder 
but if you don't have any path paths here if you're gonna have the same thing I'm gonna just show you if I go to browse I have the, I have nothing here so basically if you want to have the whole path the easiest way you just need to go directly to the baseline folder that you have downloaded to the GPOs then you just need to copy the full path to the GPO folder from the baseline and you just need to paste it here so basically the import wizard is gonna know from where it needs to pull the settings and there we go so these are all the GPOs and we are only interested in the main uh, controller right this is the main baseline that we are going to be using here so it was created on the 26th uh, 08 2021 and now we are going to be basically import everything into our baseline GPO copying uh, copying them identically from the source yeah we are gonna use everything from the source we don't need to show it because we already have selected everything okay so that's it basically your baseline for your VC is now completed as you can see it says GPO status user configuration settings are disabled so we need to actually first of all uh, link link this uh, GPO to your domain because it needs to apply to your domain controller or controllers whichever you are hosting and when the baseline is ready and of course you have edited everything and all the options are fine you can uh, go here to the settings the details and you can change it to enabled so the GPO is going to be enabled for your domain controller at this moment and that's basically all if it goes to <coughs> creating a baseline uh, according to Microsoft Uh, okay, so base, I'm gonna basically, uh, like I said, post the script under the video so you can use it for creating the uh, folder uh, that is requested. I'm gonna link also some of the links that I have shown here regarding the ADMX files and the store, the central store. And as always, if you like the content, like and, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the other videos from the new series, uh, which is going to be uh, focused on uh, VCE security. I will see you soon.